Okay, what's up, guys? We're going to do Symmachus, and uh, he's on page 124 of Antiquity Unveiled. Uh, so that's Symmachus, and that's S Y M M A C H U S, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, but he was a Greek, Grecian statesman and orator. Uh, here's his spirit testimony. Well, sir, you have, I think, a paper among you, spiritualist called Light for All. That ought to be my salutation. In mortal life, I was an orator, also a writer, and I wrote against the Christians. Now, when a man writes anything against anything now, when Iran writes against anything, it is a proper question to ask, what are your reasons for doing so? In my case, they may be set forth under three heads. First, because I knew there was no learned Christian, but who must have known, on investigation, that the religion called Christian, called Christian is but a duplication of the Eleusian mysteries, and that those mysteries embody every dogma set forth by the Christian priests. Secondly, because I knew that these mysteries were remodeled by Ammonius Sakas, and that the doctrines that the Christians were teaching were not the doctrines of their Jesus, but were the teachings of Ammonius Sakas, and were therapeutic doctrines. Thirdly, Theodius, and it's T-H-E-O-D-O-T-I-U-S, a Christian emperor or pope, after my time, had 27,000 27, rolls of papyrus destroyed that contained the very doctrines that proved those mysteries of ancient Greece were the original parent of the Christian religion. Fear was, the predomin fear was predominant. Truth was not considered then. Spies and informers were set to watch your houses at all hours of the day or night, and if they could catch you reading anything contrary to the prevailing faith of your life, your life had to pay the forfeit. I had, I have nothing to do as a spirit with those who were in this bond of iniquity. When I was in mortal form, but I think it is no more than my duty as a spirit to enlighten you as to the acts of priestly forgery in my day. There are three things that govern a spirit's happiness, as far as I have learned. Love, charity, and justice to yourself. You sit in judgment upon your imperfections, and becoming enlightened, seek to correct them through your own inward consciousness of what is best for you. I lived about 220 AD. They have classed me as an Ebonite Christian. To define my true position, I can come no nearer to it than to say I was what you are, a spiritualist, to all intents and purposes. As it is hard to express our ancient names through the medium, I will spell mine as one of the versions of the Old Testament was attributed to me. But it was a forgery. I had nothing to do with it. It was Lysinomachus, and that's L-Y-S-I-M-A-C-H-U-S, who lived at Constantinople about A.D. 270, who was the author of that version. And refer to the Nouvelle Biographie Generale for account of Symmachus. Here we have another spirit returning and correcting the historical account of himself. He says that he was not a Jew nor an Ebonite Christian, not yet a pagan, but a spiritualist, and that he wrote against the Christians. There can be little doubt he was a therapeutic follower of Ammonius Sakas and if not himself initiated in the Aleutian mysteries, had learned from the writings of Ammonius Sakas the facts that he sets forth. Truly, the key to the mysteries of all religions has been placed in our hands from the spirit world, and secret chamber after secret chamber is being opened, with it never to be closed again. 
We deeply regret the time that time and space will not admit of a more extended notice of this undoubtedly genuine and truthful communication. And that was Symmachus 124 to 126 Antiquity Unveiled.